Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a tattoo TV show that is very popular and I imagine the majority of you are aware of this TV show. The TV show is called Ink Master. For those that aren't aware or don't know much about the TV show, it's basically a tattoo competition show. Think master chef or um what's that gordon ramsay one hell's kitchen think of that but with tattoos but ink master run for many years it started in january 2012 and it ran for about 13 seasons i believe there was also three spin-off tv shows which were called ink master redemption ink master angels and ink master grudge match so this series was extremely popular to a lot of people especially you know, if there's like sub series, it's kind of in the same realm as, you know, RuPaul's Drag Race, where, you know, there's a lot of, you know, off series now, there's like all stars, and then there's series in different countries. And it's the same, I guess, with um, Real Housewives, <laughs> which is my favorite reality franchise of all time, because there's, you know, different series in different parts of the world and different parts of America and stuff. So this was extremely popular. And it got cancelled for quite a couple of reasons, but the main reason is because one of the hosts, Oliver Peck, some old photos of him come out of him doing blackface. And of course, there was a whole ordeal about this, as there should be, because nobody should be doing blackface. I think it was part of a Halloween costume. And yeah, that kind of was the demise of the show Ink Master. There was also allegations of the Ink Master set not being very woman friendly at all. A former employee reported sexual harassment on set and the way that that was dealt with was she was fired. I feel like that was very much pushed under because there was a few, you know, articles that come out about that and they kind of tried to bury it as much as possible. There's always been a hit and miss review of Ink Master. It's a case of you either love it or you hate it. A lot of people in the tattoo industry had quite strong opinions of it and kind of saw it as like a, like a, put a bad name on the tattoo industry. And then other tattoo artists didn't mind it as much. Um, saw it as kind of pretty harmless. You know, it's just a competition show. A, a lot of great artists have come out of the, you know, Ink Master series and they've become very successful. They've got amazing businesses, you know, their own tattoo studios and they're popular and what have you. But then some people see that as a, oh, you know, they're only seen as good tattoo artists because they're on Ink Master, which can be kind of true because some of the artists that went on there weren't exactly the greatest, you know? And then they've become popular or famous just because they've been on Ink Master. Tattoo artists that have been on the show kind of wear it as a badge to say, well, yeah, I'm decent because I've been on Ink Master. It doesn't exactly mean that. It's the way I kind of see celebrity tattoo artists, you know, the tattoo artists that boast about tattooing famous people, but in actual fact, just because you've tattooed someone famous doesn't mean you're a good tattoo artist. You know, there's a lot of celebrities out there with very questionable tattoos. I tried to do a couple of uh, reaction videos to Ink Master in the past, but they always got taken down immediately for copyright or whatever, even though I would do it under fair use. Fair use is basically where you take clips of something, not the whole thing, but clips of stuff, and you talk about it. A lot of YouTubers do it, but immediately Ink Master or whoever owned the footage, Paramount, Spike, I don't know, would immediately take it down. And I just gave up with it because a lot of people still request me to react to Ink Master and ask if I've ever watched it and stuff like that. And when the first few series come out, I honestly, I will put my hands up and say, I loved it. I really did enjoy watching it. And I thought it was just, you know, lighthearted entertainment. But then as the series went on, I felt like more drama was, you know, forced or faked. It become more about tattoo artists bitching about each other, fighting with each other, you know, just being shady and horrible to each other for no reason. And don't get it twisted. I love a drama reality TV show. Like I was saying, I absolutely love watching The Real Housewives, okay? Where, you know, it's, you know, fake drama all the time. But that's kind of the premise of the show, right? For me, Ink Master started out being just about the tattoos and people's talent and you know what goes into tattooing it went so far past that it to me it was more about you know the drama and I just got bored I was like oh look they're fighting again oh look more fake drama I was so over it and I was starting to notice 
that people were weaponizing people's bodies. So basically in Ink Master, you get the canvases, which is random people that will sign up to be part of the TV show and volunteer to be tattooed. These people taking part of this competition show are tattooing real people, right? At the beginning of the show, people would, you know, do a silly little task. They'll do, they'd have to do some graffiti or make some art or something. And then the winner of that would normally pick the clients they get to tattoo. And then they would basically assign people to tattoo artists, like the clients to the tattoo artists and say, you know, there was a person on there, there was a person of colour, the person that could, you know, delegate and put clients with artists would, you know, weaponize this client because they had darker skin tones to a tattoo artist they didn't like or wanted to screw over. It was extremely problematic and they would do that, you know, to witness someone weaponize a person of colour or because of someone's skin tone or the way their skin is or what have you that just rubbed me the wrong way and i just got bored of it i was just like this is not good and it just showed how crappy the tattoo industry can be because you know there is this huge issue of tattoo artists rejecting people of color or rejecting people because of their size or who they are or because of their skin type you know like if they have any skin conditions or whatever and it just highlighted that a lot for me, which I guess was needed. Another thing that rubbed me the wrong way is the fact that the show kind of celebrated very arrogant personalities. There was a lot of tattoo artists on there that weren't humble, I guess. And it's kind of celebrated that old school tattoo mentality that the majority of tattoo artists want to move away from because, you know, many years ago, tattoo artists were seen as, you know, big, scary, intimidating people that were, you know, hardcore and just mean and didn't really care about people and just wanted to do the tattoo. Do you know what I'm saying? Like there was that stereotype of a tattoo artist and that was kind of somewhat celebrated um, through some of the episodes and seasons I watched. Uh, some of the tattoo artists were just assholes. Anyway, as of today, well, the day I'm filming this, August the 5th, it's been announced that Ink Master is coming back after being cancelled or on a hiatus. And um, they've obviously had a big old switch around with who is in it. So we have an article here that says Ink Master sets premiere date on Paramount Plus. Joel Madden joins series as host. Um, so we've got a lineup here. It says Ink Master left to right artist entrepreneur Joel Madden joins as a new host with industry icons and tattoo experts Ryan Ashley, who was on Ink Master, who's one of the most famous tattoo artists to come out of Ink Master. She is very talented. Her work isn't exactly something I would get personally, but it is gorgeous. It's so beautiful what she does and what she can do. Nico Hurtado, who is a very talented realism tattoo artist. You know, I'd say he's probably one of the best realism tattoo artists out there, to be honest with you. And Army James as judges. Army James has been part of Ink Master before. He was in one of the original, if not the original, tattoo TV show, which was Miami Ink, with former host Dave Navarro returning as Master of Chaos in Ink Master season 14. Now, I don't know what that means. Ink Master finally has a return date on Paramount+. Plus. The hit reality competition series that was cancelled in 2020 will be back September 7th on the streamer and with a new host. Okay, so that basically means it's not going to be on actual TV, it's going to be on a streaming website streaming app. Joel Madden, lead vocalist for the pop punk band Good Charlotte and co-founder of music companies Veeps and MDDN or Madden. Former Ink Master winner Ryan Ashley, celebrity tattoo artist Nico Hurtado and industry veteran Army James will serve as judges. Former host Dave Navarro is also returning as the master of chaos and will introduce crazy twists and game-changing bombs to the competition. In the new 10 episode season, fan favourite artists will return to compete in the ultimate tattoo competition. Okay, so there's not going to be new tattoo artists, it's going to be ones from previous seasons. With that, I feel like, mm, f I feel like problems may arise. The artists will face new challenges seen in the battle to win $250,000 and the title of Ink Master. The show first launched in 2012 and spawned a number of spin-offs including Ink Master Grudge Match. The show was cancelled in 2020 at the Paramount Network because 
the cabler was looking to refocus its strategy on television movies and miniseries. That's not the real reason. I mean, that might be one of the reasons, but let's face it, the backlash with Oliver Peck was the main reason, let's be serious, but nice one trying to save it. Last year, Paramount decided to bring back the format, aka you realised that the whole drama situation had died down and realised that, you know, it was quite a popular TV show. It was probably one of the best shows they'd come up with. And now that the whole drama with Oliver Peck has kind of settled, you know, no one's really talking about it anymore. They're probably like, you know what? I think it's about time we bring it back. So like I was saying, I used to watch Ink Master. Again, I kind of fell off. I don't know what series or season I stopped watching that because I was just like, it's all the same. It's all fake drama. Nothing, I'm not getting any entertainment from this anymore. It's very predictable. And with the problematic side that I saw you know, the weaponizing of skin colors and what have you. I was like, nah, this just ain't for me. This just isn't giving me a good vibe anymore. So I'm interested to kind of see if, you know, this reboot is going to be any different or is it going to be the same? And they're obviously aware of, you know, the backlash they can face. Are they going to change the tone of the series or is it going to be the same? I'm kind of hoping that they've learned from their lesson of what happened for it to be, you know, ca cancelled because it hasn't exactly been cancelled as such because it's come back, you know? So I'm kind of intrigued to see if they've learned from their mistakes and to see if there's more of an accepting aura from this TV show and the part of me kind of wants to watch it a little bit to see if it's changed in any way shape or form I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions of this have you been a diehard Ink Master fan from the beginning or did you watch it for a while like me and then kind of got bored of it disinterested a bit annoyed by it and then will you watch it now to see what's happening i'd also be interested to know if anyone here is a tattoo artist a tattoo apprentice or works in the industry what your feelings are towards ink master did you enjoy it did you not did you find it problematic will you be watching the new series but yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions let me know if you'd actually like me to watch it for like research purposes and then like give you guys my opinion on the new series in comparison to the old series and i've got how to do my outro so yeah bye <laughs>